So I have an ink bird uh, heater controller or temperature controller. It's the one where you run two heaters. And I had this old freezer that didn't work. And I was like, well, I'll use half of it for a. I just opened the door, trying to keep it around 100. And so we have, I'm going to completely seal all that up up there. But for now, even without that space up there sealed, this whole space down here is still staying temp. And that switch, the ink bird, the ink bird right here. Let's see if I can get it focused. There we go. This is what I wanted at around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but at Celsius on the ink bird, you can control. Uh, dial it in a little better, I guess is what I'm saying, with the uh, Celsius setting. So this is what it's at right now. Eventually it'll climb back up. I've just had the door open for a little bit. And once it gets to 37.8 Celsius, it cuts off. And then I have it set. You hold it for three seconds. And then... That's your temperature, you tap it again. This is the, uh, uh, I guess the, uh, the point four I set it. So when it's, that, that setting is, uh, shoot, what is it? It kinda, it's a range. So if it goes point four above this setting or point four below, it either cuts it on or cuts it off depending so we'll watch it get up to temp and then pop off and I'll show you what I mean come on anyway the other settings are see it pops off and then it won't come back on until I think 3.7 uh, 3.74 is when it should kick back on that's what that DS that's what this number is that's what that number is that point four. that's the uh, leeway either way oh, and as you can see, that's calibration. That's for turn on Fahrenheit. And also, if you just let it, it'll go back to, if you don't do anything, it'll go back to uh, the main screen. Oop. You see it's gonna get back up to 37.8, pop off, pop on. <coughs> And also what I did, I have, uh, I'm seeing which shelf would be better. Right there, that's saying 96.6. I'm trying to get some of these, the uh, humidity's right. I want to get it all. I got some things, those little things in the corner. Thermostat, I mean a temp and humidity. And then I just got a little bit of water to see how much and all that good stuff so yeah I don't have any automatic egg turners I'm gonna turn them by hand because I'm not gonna do too many I mean I can do a lot in here but for now we'll just do a few at a time and this was going to be a freezer to keep my meat chickens in once we process them but we'll use it as an incubator and the other side who knows the other side might be a germination chamber right now it's just storage just stick a bunch of stuff in there so this is the uh the incubator i'm probably gonna buy uh ink bird has a a humidity uh humidity <laughs> a humidity uh 
version of this that you can set and I'm thinking about getting that it's like 40 some dollars and then just boop, putting it right there next to it and that way I can uh, I can keep a better eye on the on the humidity also I might use that might get a couple more these things are pretty neat I'm I'm liking this ink bird setup I might get the uh, I might get all three of the uh, they have another one they have a setup that gives you a temp control and a humidity I'll probably end up getting that one I might just buy them all just to try but it's pretty neat it's working it's doing it's doing its job and it cuts off neat and it gets up just a little bit that's fine not a problem I will seal my I, I might even make it you know the shelves instead of using the whole space I might just use you know a little little section mm -mm -mm. but and they see it comes back on with that differential of four point four degrees Celsius and now once it gets back to thirty seven point eight it'll pop back off so that's the range there it is ha <laughs> the range I want it to be I don't want it to go any lower but don't want it to go any higher neither than point four above so I kinda keep it all dialed in and then we'll see if I need more fans or something different to keep the air moving all that good stuff oh, it popped off again so that's cool it doesn't that's neat first time ever using one of these pretty cute just drilled a hole in the side <laughs> sealed it back up well that's gonna be it guys it's dirty we'll clean her up mm -mm -mm. but I think she will hatch some eggs oh it pops back on nice Ink bird, you've got my vote so far. You're working. I'm uh, I'm impressed. Interesting. Cool. Didn't really know these things existed until I started, you know, researching and googling, and YouTube. <laughs> Sweet. And I'm not good at elect. I'm not an electrician kind of guy. I don't. I don't know how to wire things up I can it just scares me so I'd rather buy something like this is already already wired up and ready to go I just kinda it's plug and play I like that that's my I'm a fan of that so alright guys see ya